Kelsey Cruz, your boy Daddy Chuck Chuck. <laughs> and I am back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger is this? It's a muck bang! Today, 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 I have. Asia Lee in the building. Asia Lee in the building. ZCC Let's family, if you guys remember, if you guys rocked with the ZCC squad, uh, she is Snoop's cousin. And we have a couple of videos on Snoop's channel together, <laughs> but never on my channel, never on her channel. So this is our first solo dolo. Yeah. How's so it feel? I haven't seen you since Snoop. Since that night. Yeah, since so that we night. We're going to label it that <laughs> night. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we decided to go ahead and do a video together. Today we got some Longhorn Steakhouse. I got a uh, filet mignon uh, nine ounce with some lobster tails and uh, with a lobster tail and some broccoli. And uh, she got. I got the original long, long, long horn, horn. Yeah. Long horn. I, I really want to say horny. Long <laughs> <laughs> but so, long horn steak. And okay. she decided to commit to uh, commit a crime. She got hers well done. So she's eating some hamburger meat <laughs> right now. And, no, uh, it doesn't look that bad. It does look that bad. All right, when you start biting it, it's gonna be that bad. I'm telling you right now. And Snoop would be very ashamed. I'm letting your cousin know. <laughs> stick like that but i got medium rare but uh zcc family let's go ahead and get a prayer and thumbnail we're gonna dive in let's go father god i want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body and i ask that you do please bless this food in jesus name we pray amen amen let's get a thumbnail you can just pick up anything do whatever you want to do <laughs> all right <laughs> and then let's dive in oh my gosh okay i know you was hungry no i am starving but the thing is like I just got my nails done. Oh, you just and did? I'm about to, yeah. Oh, you fancy. <laughs> Very fancy. Gotta have the, the mani and petty always. I yeah. feel you. I feel you. So what you been on, Asia? Man. Like, I mean, as you said, like, okay, wait. The last videos that we did, everybody was like, have you put your channel up? Have you put your channel up? Have you mm -hmm. put your channel Make your videos. You guys, I finally did it. Mm -hmm. I did it. So I got my I got my YouTube channel up. I got my I got videos up, uh -huh. and y'all should really tune in. And that's what I've been focusing on. Like I've been trying to be consistent with my videos and just like you know, just like grinding. exactly. So what I want to, what I want you to say because a lot of people got short uh, short attention span. They won't watch longer than five minutes. Shout out where they can find you at real quick. Please mm -hmm. come subscribe, like, share, all of that at Asia Lee. I promise you, you won't regret it. Asia Lee on YouTube. What's YouTube? your Instagram? Is my that? Instagram is True Beauty. Mm -hmm. And if you guys don't know, I am a beautician. I own my own business, so True Beauty is the name of my business. That's what's up. And you, you little do y'all know, Asia a little TikTok famous. <laughs> she be going viral on TikTok. TikTok is my stuff. Like, I love TikTok. Uh -huh. if, if everything else fails, go to TikTok. <laughs> yeah, what do you, uh, what are you be doing on? You be dancing? I be dancing. I you be can doing... dance. I'm not. Like... <laughs> <laughs> go to TikTok. Everyone know. Can you dance? A little bit. A little I bit. think I could. You know, like, as long as you won't be, I feel like you can mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, yeah, I can. What kind okay. of dances you be doing, doing on there? I be doing the, um, <laughs> what's famous right now? I don't this know. This is what everybody do. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I would not even be on TikTok like that though, for real. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've been doing dances. Mm -hmm. I've been doing transitions, my makeup transitions, like when I'm ugly. Yeah. And then turn the camera back on when I'm not. Oh yeah, that, that's that's what we're really doing <laughs> big on TikTok. Honestly, I need to get on TikTok. I just don't. I, honestly, I'm gonna get I'm gonna be on with you. I suck at social media. Like, I don't take a lot of pictures. I know you be doing whole photo shoots at the crib. You be doing whole photo shoots. I be saying I do whole photo shoots on my day. I really do. Mm -hmm. In my own house. Mm -hmm. Like all my photo shoots be in my house. That's a wild but creative. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, my photo shoot was so raw. If y'all haven't already, again, go follow me on Instagram at truebeauty underscore A1. Y'all get to see my last photo shoot that I did for New Year's. Mm -hmm. Baby. See, I'm not a, uh, I don't feel like I'm super photogenic, so I really don't need to take pictures like that. And it's crazy. You need to start. And it's crazy that YouTube is my career and I'm not even like heavy on social media. I'm surprised I even got 80,000 followers on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like you need like to the people who follow me are some real ones because I don't post nothing and y'all still stay following me. So shout out to y'all, man. Zaddy Chunk Chunk on Instagram. I really appreciate y'all. This is how steak's supposed to be cut. I'm gonna have to eat a caveman, y'all, because I can't be cut. It looks like you're eating a rock. Like, <laughs> mm, so I'm, I'm over so here good. trying to create my potato. Your potato man? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This looks so good. Like, I just can't wait to devour this potato. <laughs> you be devouring your foodie? Devouring. Your foodie? Yes. I love food. Like, what you be doing on your channel? You be doing food on your channel? No, I haven't. Why not? I don't know. You don't know. You think I should? Do you probably should. I'm gonna get you a little snack in here and there. <laughs> I will. I will for sure eat. You might have to come on there and introduce it first. You don't want to come on on the channel? Yeah. The introduce the, the foodie. I see you did a collab with uh, uh Snoop's ex. Well, not yeah. ex. Well, his little little thing. Let me not make no assumptions. I apologize, because everybody. Oh, this is right. Are you doing? Look, Snoop's gonna be calling you right now, like ex. That's my baby mama. Oh, uh, <laughs> but little Snoop's little thing thing. Now he about to call you for saying that. No, he it is. He gonna be on my line like I'm about to come down there right now. Well, good, cause we've been begging you. Yeah, last time, y'all, me and Asia kicked it was that night, and I'm looking back. If you guys go to Snoop's channel, Ellie Carson. Um, he did a turn up vlog, like his, our last turn up with mm -hmm. him in the house. And I was so embarrassed in that video because I was <laughs> lit. I was super drunk. We were all out of control. <laughs> I just feel like that was a crazy night. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes you do you do need those type of nights. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. was like, I can't wait till Snoop comes back because we need one of those again because we haven't had one since. Yeah. Like. And I've been telling Snoop to come back, you know what I mean? To come back and turn up. And I ain't doing nothing. I know. I'm just like, come back. I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll help you with your ticket. Like, mm -hmm. just say the word yeah. that you're here. That's crazy. So, besides the two, what's been going on in Asia's life? Um. You be chilling. <laughs> yeah, I just be chilling. Um. What's What's Asia's relationship status? I just knew you was gonna ask that. <laughs> Anyways, um, my relationship status. I am single. Single. Are you ready to mingle? I know. <laughs> I was about to say single and not mingling. You're not mingling? I'm not mingling. Why aren't you mingling? Because I feel like these guys don't know how to mingle. What? They be dingling in. When's it when's the last time you've been in a relationship? Um probably like what like I don't know. I'm looking at you like you know. <laughs> I don't know, like seven months ago. Mm -hmm. So seven months ago? Yeah, I'm gonna grab this. Interesting. Now you haven't had no potentials. No, 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 Um, I don't know. Mm. So she knows. I don't know why she lied to y'all. <laughs> I thought I had, cause what? Let me Go talk ahead. to y'all. So listen, y'all. <laughs> so Snoop introduced me to Asia and stuff like that, you know, and I'm like, okay, what's up, you know? And I know the beginning. Let's make let's clear some rumors, you guys. In the beginning, everybody swore me and Asia was talking to each other. You know what I mean? Everybody swore up and down. Asia was the girl I took out on that date. Again, you get this. You want to scrap? You want to pull that? Oh my! <laughs> let's help the handicap. But um. You need more? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> but uh, everybody swore up and down. Me and Asia was talking out of side that. And, so you didn't take me on a date? <laughs> oh, no. No, just kidding. <laughs> I didn't take Asia on a date. But, um, you know what's crazy? So, Asia ended up talking to, uh, I ended up throwing the assist. You know, I ended up what throwing, you talking about me on here, like? I ended up throwing the assist to one of my homies. I that, just in case if anything ever blossoms from that, just know I'm the creator of that. <laughs> Uh, and I need to be the best man at the wedding. <laughs> Not the best man, I'm dead. But, um, yeah, she ended up talking to one of my homies. She was supposed to be my, my little boot thing, but she uh, passed me up for one of the homies. <laughs> no, don't, don't laugh. <laughs> she ended up passing me up. I'm like, nah, I ain't feeling chunk chunk. <laughs> so we're not gonna talk? <laughs> no. We can talk. We can most definitely talk. Okay. He threw the, the alley hoop. 
Mm-hmm. He threw the alley hoop. He most I certainly did. did. I did. And, and so how's that been going? I mean, it's mm-hmm. been going okay, but it's like we really don't. I feel like people need to know how to treat you. Like women, you gotta show, and men, you have to show the person what it means to treat, how to treat you. Like you mm-hmm. gotta show that person how to treat you. So, you know, like, I feel like everything was going good, but mm-hmm. I just feel like, I feel like we're not together, but we're on a break. Yo, uh, <laughs> so that's day then. That's what you're telling me. If you're on a break, that's day. That's what that tells me. No, yes, we're not on a break. We were done, Dada. Yeah, but that's that's day then. If y'all on a break, <laughs> chill y'all just, out. Y'all just chilling out right now. But um, chill out. Nah, that's crazy. But yeah, you know? you, you threw you definitely threw that alley hoop. Uh-huh. My bad. I'm just and and I definitely something. need to be the best man if that's the case. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but you got. Me, I couldn't even talk about it. You got me over here, like. Y'all always put me on blast mm-hmm. every single time. <laughs> it's either Snoop, you, or dot dot dot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then uh, a lot of people swore, like, because when we was on Snoop's live, it was like our first time eating. Yeah. And, um, well, you came to the house a few times. I did. You weren't here. I was. Or, yeah, I was I here. Know. I was just posting in the room, one of the two. And um, I know in the beginning, I ain't gonna cap. Snoop was trying to hook me up with you. He's like, oh, you need to send this one. This one cousin Asia. Go ahead and shoot your shot. I was like, that. Snoop. Yeah, he was. I swear to God. Snoop. <laughs> and then um, Snoop was like, oh, Snoop. I promise you, Snoop said the same thing. He's like, oh, why are you fat? You, you, threw the, you threw the assist. What made you do that? And I was like, oh, no. I wasn't like. Like, me, it was, uh, me and her was kicking and stuff, but. Yeah. I was like. Snoop was like telling me stuff here and there. What was he saying? I don't know what this man said. <laughs> okay, Snoop was like, yeah, pretty much like, I was trying to get down with the get down. Like, <laughs> Snoop just be talking. He tried to, he <laughs> tried to shoot that shot. Nah, Snoop just be talking. I probably just need to be talking. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to shoot that shot. Mm-hmm. Snoop was like, yeah, I didn't think that one would do a video with you because, yeah, because that whole situation, because like, he low-key wanted you, and he, like, oh, you, know, oh. you, threw, you threw the alley hoop, you threw the alley hoop, and he's like, he was like, he didn't think he, he would do a video with me because of that. Uh-huh. I'm like, come on now, we're going to play like kids. No, no, yeah, definitely wasn't that at all. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and, um, no. Nah, what are you doing? I like Tabasco sauce and A1 steak sauce put together. That's nasty. Snoop be talking though. Like I said, Snoop tried to just hit. Snoop was telling me to shoot my shot. Snoop was saying, "Oh yeah, you need to shoot your shot." I was like, "That." I was like, "Oh, I saw, it. I saw you." And then, I ain't gonna cap. I thought she was a little bougie chick at first. My first match, I'm like, "Oh, she a little bougie." I just said, "I am bougie." Until mm-hmm. you know me, you gotta know me. You gotta know somebody. You can never judge a book by its cover. Very true. And then now, uh, the first time we all cooked it, I'm like, "Oh yeah, she real cool." Yeah, I learned a, le- a lot about you um, through Snoop and my other friends and stuff. And learned, oh, Asia's a, a pretty good girl. Your other <laughs> Asia's a pretty good girl. I know you be uh, going to church. That's great. Yeah, I go to church mm-hmm. every Sunday. That's amazing. Um, very strong minded. Very strong minded. Very strong minded. <laughs> I'm uh, not taking no sh from nobody. Uh huh. Uh, what else is there? I sent on mine, all ten of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and and when I say that, it's because she's just not playing no games. Like if, if things is if things looking crazy, she she not she not playing. Mm-mm. But um, what else is there? Uh, I was gonna say, seem very faithful and loyal. Most definitely am. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't play with the people around me. Cause if you're showing me. That you're not, if you're not giving me what I'm putting in or what I'm putting down, why would I let you stay around me? You yeah, know? Yeah. Like, it's just, it doesn't make sense. You got to make it make sense. Yeah. This is fat. Uh-uh-uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's like that. <laughs> so, you like the single life. You enjoying it? I do like the single life. But also, like, I'm a type of person where I do like being in a relationship. Like, I like to cuddle. Mm-hmm. I like to be able to be like, my man, my man, my man, my man. You know how um, 
Miami was like, my man, my man, my man, my man. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I'm gonna left you for dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but no. Mm-hmm. But no, like, I do miss being in a relationship. Just because the simple fact is because, like, like I'm just, like, so, yeah. And I'm just, like, I feel like I'm a nourishing person. Like, I just love, I like to cuddle. Mm -hmm. I like to go on dates. Mm -hmm. I like to kiss. I like to hug. Very affectionate. Yeah, exactly. And let's get it very clear. So, I remember asking you, are you a submissive type? I remember that, too. Uh And I got the correct answer for that because you had me thinking on that. And when you first said it, I was, like, well, what type of submissive woman are you thinking? Like, you think you're just going to walk around here like you big dog and you mm-hmm. don't got to do nothing and you just going to have a submissive woman? Mm-hmm. No. To have a submissive woman, you have to you have to nourish her as well. Mm-hmm. Because you don't have to ask for a submissive woman at all. You should not have to. If she loves you, she down for you, and you showing her that in return... Mm-hmm. She don't do anything in the world for you. And I always say that, like, I feel like every woman is naturally submissive. It just takes that right man to bring it out there, to bring it out of them. For sure. I agree with that 100% because that's 100% true. Yeah. Okay. So, how old are you? I'm 27. 27. Yes. So, you're about to be married soon. Oh, my gosh. No, because I haven't met nobody. Listen, no, I was talking to her earlier. She said, I'm surprised I'm not married. No, I did say I'm surprised (laughs) I'm not married because, come on now, like... What? <laughs> Is it hot in here? <laughs> you got something in here? No, like, because, come on now. I should have a rock you, on my finger. You wiping material? Hair. Yes, I am. Mm. Very much so. Mm-hmm. I think I am. I need you to be like that song, uh, that Beyonce song, Let Me Cater To You. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Let me cater to you. Okay. And baby, this is your day. Do I'm so sorry. So why haven't you had any luck, you think? You think you're just too real for everybody out here? Wait, well, I'm not perfect myself. Type? Do you no. think you run into the bad boy type? I think I probably do. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm just such a loving person that I feel like the person that I run into, like, at the beginning they show that, mm-hmm. but then it fades away. Don't show me that you want to do all this lovey-dovey stuff in the beginning, and mm-hmm. then, like, it starts oh, fading away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will open it. But yeah, so I just feel like I just lost my train of thought where I was going with that. It just fades away. Pretty much. Like men, I don't know. I just been having the hardest time with men. It's like I'm not looking for a man, mm-hmm. but like no one's ever looking for. Him. Right, but if you come along, I expect you to know how to treat me. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you, "Oh, you got to treat me this way, you got to treat me that way." But I'm going to let you know, like, oh, I don't like this or I like this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if I tell you and you do the opposite and you keep doing the same thing, excuse me, that's a red flag. So do you give up? You you give chances? I used to. You used to? I used to, yeah. What made you stop? Because it's like men have shown me that every time you give them a chance, they go back and do the same shit. Oh, wow. (laughs) They do the same things over and over, huh? Yes. I'm sure you have. Who, me? (laughs) I'm a great guy. I'm amazing. (laughs) I'm amazing. Actually, no. I can't even judge a book by its cover. I'm just be like, okay, dog. Yeah, no. Why do all women just automatically just think guys be on on dogs? Like, be acting like dogs. Why do you guys automatically think that? Mmm. I don't automatically think that. That's why I said, I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. So Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to say, okay. Mm -hmm. But I will say the men that I have met just haven't been the best. What's your type? My type? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That's a good question. We want to hear physically and mentally. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I love a man that can show his affection. Like... I want my man to give me like forehead kisses. I want my man to kiss all over me. You got something on your forehead. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, listen, I'm going to talk about that to you. I'm going to let you continue. Shut up. But no, like, yeah, like forehead kisses. I love hugs. I'm a very affectionate person. So mm. I want my man to be affectionate too. Yeah. Like, 
like I said, like I love the cuddle. I want to be in the kitchen cooking and I want my man to come up behind me and be like, oh, you look good, baby. Or thank you for cooking, baby. Like I'm just like so sentimental and I'm yeah. a very like sexual person. So I like, like all that gushy you stuff. You like all oh, that gushy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. And physically. Yeah. Oh. One Wait, I'm time. not done. Oh, you got more? Mental. Yeah. So, of course, like, my man has to be respectful. I want my man to definitely, number one, respect his parents. If you can't respect your parents, you can't respect nobody. Mm -hmm. And, like, me, I don't even cuss around my parents to yeah. this day. Mm -hmm. I'm 27 and I don't cuss around my parents. Yeah. I think, like, that's not how I grew up. That's not respectful to me. Yeah. Like, I'm not just going to go around my mom like this that and the third like no i yeah. see a lot of people do that and i don't think that's respectful yeah so yeah okay. and then like i just want you to hold me like high in the sky high inside so like, you just need put a me strong on man yeah you need a strong physically and mentally mm -hmm. <laughs> i want to be picked up mm -hmm. pick me up and i'm awesome. little i'm five feet no yeah, you are short short as hell <laughs> So I like to be picked up. Okay. I like to be picked up. Are you trying to let somebody know? I like to be picked up. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you in the gym. So what about? Oh, he like? knows. Huh? Who? Who's he? Huh? Who, who's he? I said he knows. Oh, okay. So if what you do know, you know. So if you, if like, you know. <laughs> so what do you like physically? Um, okay, so physically. Cause let's see your I, ass. And I seen the, my friend, so I know your type. So I want you to lie. <laughs> I want you to lie so I can expose it. No, okay. Wow. Okay, so I like my. I like. Honestly, my man has to like. I like tall men. Mm -hmm. So like, like I, I said, I'm five feet. So I need my my man to be taller than me. So what's the minimum requirements? So what if he's five three? <laughs> Um, That's hectic. If I can't, like, I want to be able to, like, reach up on my tippy toes just a little bit and be like, mm -hmm. give me a kiss. So six foot, like, minimum? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess, like, as long as I just, like, at least stand yeah. on my tippy toes and give you a kiss and then come back down, mm -hmm. I'll be fine. So tall? Mm hmm Tall. Mm hmm Dark skin. What's dark skin? Like Akon. <laughs> <laughs> That's dark chocolate. I didn't I say dark chocolate. I, I said dark skin. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so dark skin. Mm -hmm. I like nice teeth. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, I'm not really a dread fan. I I wasn't. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's knit that. I just right now. cut it out. Cut it out. No, the I last, just the what? last two guys I seen Asia with have been dreadheads. Including your friend. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> you say I'm not a dread fan. It's caperoni and cheese. Man, you mean this is a big bowl of it right now? Mm, I'm gonna eat some more. <laughs> no, but okay. Honestly, I've never. This is my first. Okay, so my ex was my first time ever dating a dreadhead. Yeah. That was my first time ever. I was never attracted to dreadheads. I thought that was just like, oh, like I just didn't like it because I feel like. I feel like my ex, no cap, he did take care of his dreads, like mm -hmm. really good care of him. Like I was used to seeing guys with these nappy ass dreads, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I was just like, yeah, no, mm -mm, I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay, my ex kept his dreads really nice. Whoop, whoop, bam. Okay. Your friend keeps his dreads really nice. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. 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 Just to let you guys know, don't speculate. I have a lot of friends, so I know. It wasn't. It was the, it was the dreads. It, I mean. It was a cleanliness for me. Like, that's all. Mm. That's what's up. So dark skin. Dark skin, nice dreadhead, teeth. nice teeth. Top. I didn't I didn't put dreads in oh, there. Oh, you did. Because you can have a cut too. You can have a fade. I didn't just say dreads. I said you can have a fade. You see this. I know you see this. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I ain't gonna swear right now. <laughs> Oh my God! You, they always put me on the spot. <laughs> Literally, imagine if Snoop was here, he'd be all for it because that man has no filter at all. Man, I love my cousin so much. I can't wait till he comes back. Yes. I've been begging him. Y'all see how short she is? She was sitting on her. I knees. know. I no, you my knees like Megan. 
in the bed. <laughs> but I couldn't right now because I was sitting on my legs and yeah. they're, they're hurting. But they're uh, falling no, asleep. <laughs> yeah, I miss my guy Snoop though. We had definitely had a lot of good times. Um, that night that we did that taco mukbang on Snoop's channel was the same. That was like an hour video. It was very long, 45 minutes to an hour. It was the same night that we all went out. Mm-hmm. It got super lit. I didn't even remember the, going to the uh, the liquor store part. I you don't remember that? that? Uh -uh. But I seen it on video. I'm like, man, we went to the liquor store? I don't remember none of that. Yeah, I, I know like the next day I was talking to Snoop. I'm like, are y'all good? Like, is everybody okay? Uh -huh. He's just like, yeah, Dalvin said he don't remember shit. And I'm like, I'm gonna need Dalvin to remember, okay? Because I need them to know how much of an ass they were acting last night. I, uh, I wasn't acting a donkey at all. I was chilling. Not really. Snoop was. He actually said he didn't remember anything. And I'm just like, wow. This was like, um, what's that movie? My little bit. Um, the drunk movie, what, Hangover. Hangover. Oh, okay. Yeah, where like they do all this stuff and they don't remember yeah. the next day. That's them, literally. Yeah, I didn't remember nothing. Mm -mm. I wonder what. I, but the thing is, the reason why is because I started when you were doing Snoop's hair. Mhm. Mm and you're doing, you're retwisting his hair, and I started drinking in. You did. You were like the first one. <laughs> yeah, I was the first one to start drinking because I knew it was gonna turn out for Snoop's birthday. And liquor just doesn't have the same effect on me no more. Like I feel like I can um. I don't know. I don't know if it was because I was drinking henny or what, but I'll be drinking. Mm. Um, I can't do henny. I can drink a whole. I can drink for a whole night and just have a headache and not even be drunk. So what? Yeah, but now I just start drinking Casamigos and that's actually me too. That's where I start feeling myself. I like Casamigos. I had. Um, I think it's because I've been drinking henny for so long though, since I was. So it's like friend. you're used to it. Yeah. I can't drink henny. I don't drink henny at all. You don't all. like dick dark. Uh, <laughs> do you like dark liquor? <laughs> Yes, I do. I do indeed. I promise you, I'm to say dark liquor. I don't know how that. I don't know how that came out. But you like dark? Yes, I do. Dark. That's what's up. No, yeah, tequila um, definitely has me out. Oh, what well, I wanted to make clear, because everybody think, oh, is there is that what trying to flirt on you? Listen, like, like she she talked to my homie, like this is me and Asia, real cool. Like this is my guys, my guys cousin. I know the title. Oh, so this is what we doing. That's what yeah. We <laughs> I know the title. I made juicy because you know I just got to make it juicy for y'all. But uh, y'all gonna see me on Asia channel though. We gonna be turning up. Turn we up most definitely Asia. is Asia channel. We got us a little uh, a little drink before uh, before the vid. We did. She couldn't even finish good. hers. She okay, got, but what, still, a sunrise? It's, yeah, a tequila sunrise. It's still good. <laughs> I'm a drink. You are. Mhm. Mm this steak was good. Your steak, I know, was hectic. It's so My dry. My steak was. Your steak was probably dry. We don't do dry over here. Don't. No. You don't. No. You don't. <laughs> it was wet. <laughs> So it was never dry. No. Okay, I just want to know how you took your steaks. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know. I don't want to know how you cooked your steaks. Well, okay. <laughs> so how's it been like in this house? I seen that you celebrated like Christmas and stuff by yourself. Like yeah. you just been in here like a loner. Chilling, bored. Honestly, you know, since my hands been injured, I haven't went out once at all. Let me get I back been, up here. I haven't been kicking it at all. I haven't been seeing nobody. That's the reason why I had everybody, you know, come down here. It's because I was all bored, you know, ever since uh, mm -hmm. my ex. I don't know if you ever seen videos of me here. My ex, Nicole, she moved out and everything. But, uh, oh, yeah, I used to stay here together? Yeah, we weren't dating or anything, but we were staying together. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. I had no one to bother. After she left, it was like, oh, who am I going to bother? You know? Mm -hmm. So I miss having, you know, the roommates here because then I could just go in their room and just go mess with them. So I have a question. What's your question? What does that mean when you're with somebody uh -huh. and they become an ex mm -hmm. and y'all still live together? It was a grind. We was grinding it up on the two. Everybody loved the dynamic duo. Everybody loved seeing us together. So it's just like, okay, we're just grinding together. And it's easier if we are staying in the same house. Imagine, imagine, okay, let's say this. Cause I'm like, let's say we doing this video. This is a meal ticket, this is a million. But I, but I guess, okay, so I guess like, if y'all still aren't like good terms, mm -hmm. I understand that, mm -hmm. but I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. uh, no, me and her were real good terms. Uh, it wasn't like, we didn't have no envy towards each other. And then plus like, uh, she did so much for me in my life, like throughout the years. So mm -hmm. I was so happy to help uh, like put her on this platform and then help her out. Cause I felt like, 
That's good. I felt like us, if we would have broken up and like if we just broken up, I would have felt bogus kind of. Like I felt like uh, her be able to have a platform and be on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like I'm glad like that just stopped. But yeah, I, it just popped off. Okay. But um, I think that's good because I feel like people are so used to toxic stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I hate toxic so yeah. much. Are you toxic? No. Not at all. No. You don't like to fight for no reason. No. Even for some. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's toxic. <laughs> That's toxic to you right now. No. But that's a good. That's not toxic. So that's let me ask you this: Have you ever pulled up on a man? You no. Pulled up on, you never pulled up on an ex. No. Bleach clothes. No. Never done anything to violate property or him. Y'all out here bleaching clothes? <laughs> I don't know. I can't deal with crazy women. I know. I no, know I've that. never done that type of stuff. I've actually had that shit done to me. Oh wow. Like. Why is they? Why are they going crazy? These men that? are like. I don't know why they going crazy. You tell me. <laughs> but um, these what? men are like slowly but surely turning into females, and it's real female. Oh, stop action. it! Stop it! Okay, <laughs> wait. Let me put the some in there. Mm -hmm. S O M E. Some. No, nah, yeah, I feel you though. Like just doing like super weird stuff, and like mm -hmm. me, like I'm not the one to be like. I'll leave a situation and I'll leave that situation alone and I will just walk away. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't owe me anything. You don't have to give me anything. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'm not taking back anything. Like, just go live your life. Yeah. That's the type I am. I'm not bleaching no clothes. I'm not reaching out to your family. I'm not pulling up nowhere. Because mm -hmm. at the end, it's my phone that's blowing up. It's your phone that's blowing up? Let me find, are you a flirt? Me? Yeah. Yeah. You are a flirt? I flirt. So when you're in a relationship, do can can your niceness be mistaken as flirtiness to other men? No. No. You you, you make a hard line when you're in a relationship? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I would play like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why that's... Yeah, it's a, for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. But yeah, no, I would play like that. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like I said, I'm a my man, my man, my man type. They're gonna be like, damn, can she shut up? Like, damn, we know your man can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sure can. I'm wow. that type. <laughs> she said, yeah, he sure can. Okay, I'm that's good. Like, no, gonna... honestly, based on what I hear, no, it's not like AJ is really a good girl though. From the conversations I heard from other people and stuff of that sort. So that's good that you got a good head on your shoulders. I'm sure you'll find someone. What, what would you talk to a? Uh, a subscriber on the street, and I know you're chilling right. I mean, not a subscriber on the street, but let's say one of the subscribers decided to slide your DM on the gram. Could you talk to mm. someone that uh, just follows you? Oh, sorry. A TikTok follower, anything of that sort. No. Why not? You can't talk. You can't be. You can't be with a supporter. He could be a I great mean, guy. He. Well, I guess I. Can, I said. I, I guess I maybe answered that too fast, but. Like I said, I already said what I like in a man. I already said how I want my man. So if you meet that and there's chemistry mm -hmm. and you, you, you know, you make it to, you're climbing up the ladder there and you're doing a good job. Like I don't, I don't see why not. So let me ask you this. What is the proper way for a man to slide into Asia Lee's DM? Ooh! What is the proper <laughs> way? What would what would catch a response? Because I'm sure you get a lot of DMs. I do get a lot of DMs, and so usually what? they're so irritating that I ignore them mm -hmm. because no one ever knows how to come at me, right? So what 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 would be the right way to come at Asia Lee? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> See, like I want to answer, but it's like just come at me with respect. Don't mm -hmm. call me your baby girl. Don't call me. Hey mama, don't call me hey shorty, little mama, none of that. You do look like little mama. Oh my life, you look like little Even though I know they're not calling you little mama, so, uh, but you low key look like little mama. No, I don't. You low key got a face like that's, that. Thing. That's kind of like. Have you ever heard that? No. I swear you low key look like no, little mama. No, I don't. How dare you? I think you do low key. But no. you think little mama ugly? I kind of do. Why yes. is that? What's wrong with little mama? Cause she's not really that appealing. She's not to me. <sighs> oh, no shade. Gotta throw that in there. <laughs> but Love little mama watch this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying I don't like I don't look like her. She's no. she's beautiful, yes, but I don't look like her. I've mm -hmm. never heard that. I think so. I think that Let me know if I'm tripping or go in the comment section there. I think your long island <laughs> is definitely. Let me know trip. if I'm tripping. 
But um, so okay, so okay, that's interesting. So what kind of DMs do you get? So let's say, because you said coming, you respectful. So what if a guy's just saying, oh, you know, hey, what's up? You know, it's very simple. It's not like they didn't do the most. Yeah. So I, see, I, me, now it's based off the looks. No, see me, I'm not like a social media dater. Mm -hmm. Like you have to meet that person in person. Exactly. Like I'm like, I want you to like walk up to me and like talk to me so I can see like how you're going about it. You know what I'm saying? Like what you're going to say out your mouth, how your posture is, like all of that type of stuff. Like I want you to be like, you know, like mm -hmm. so nice to meet you. My name is. And then be like, you know, like, I think you're this, that, and the third. Because obviously you walked over to me for a reason. Mm -hmm. So, like, you so know So, for I'm guys saying? in the club, you know, you know I mean, you're at the club. I don't do clubs. No. So, let's say if you are at the club. Hell no. You go to the club. <laughs> so, you are at the club. And, you know, guy, you know, you, people don't have that much time. Really can't get to know you in the club. So, guy goes up to you and say, hey, listen, I think you're really beautiful. And I love to get you your Instagram. You're going to go ahead. If they look good, you're going to go ahead. Or are you just not approachable? You're just going to say no. I mean, you can get my Instagram. Mm. My thing is, I don't give out my phone number. Yeah, no. I always, I'm looking 100 with you. I always go for the Instagram because I don't give out my phone number as well. You know, That'd be I mean? my go-to. Mm. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, you can have my Instagram. That's fine. Mm. But my phone number, mm. baby, see my phone number? Mm. You gotta, That that's the hardest part. Mm. Ask how many people got my phone that's number. That's the reason why we talk on Instagram. <laughs> 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 oh, Shut up, though. <laughs> but no, okay, I see. Yeah, no, Asia stays a trap for me. She about what an hour away from me, forty-five minutes. Yeah. You stay at distance from me. It still came on time. A yeah. little bit. A few I was very proud because I, I told Asia I was wasn't gonna play this shenanigan games with her because with Snoop she used to never ever come. I used to remember me and Snoop would like go for walks or be chilling uh, in the living room and Snoop was like, "Yeah, I'm about to collab with Asia." I'm like, okay, okay. okay. He told me that about 15 times before I first saw Oh my god, y'all <laughs> steady be on me about that. And I told Asia, I'm like, you're not gonna play these shenanigans with me. He's like, be be here at four o'clock. Yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. no, I don't play me like that. <laughs> but uh, I felt some type of way. I was like, I yeah. had to set an alarm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, but no, I like literally in my head, I'm just like, okay, let me be over here for he think I'm playing games. Like I'm mm -hmm. really not playing games. That's good though that she actually came on time. Yeah. Was you a little bit early or yeah? I, think I was. Probably, yeah. I was actually. I was like, okay, okay, I see Asia. Right. I wasn't prepared at all though to be on hunt with you. I was on the phone with <laughs> one of my homies. And when you told me you was 12 minutes away, I'm like, snap, trying to hurry up. <laughs> get, get dressed and everything. But I definitely enjoyed this meal. You were in the house walking around. Oh yeah, no. Booking I'd be, naked. I'd be, I'd be taking it. <laughs> Especially now I'm looking at myself and I don't be doing nothing. I'd just be chilling. Chilling That's and kidding. That's crazy. Me. Why are you by yourself on Christmas? Cause what happened to my hand, I had to come back here. So I was out, oh. out in Ohio for the holidays. And um, so since I had to get surgery, if I would've got it done there, it would've been so much more, uh, it would've been so, it would've been a lot, I would've had to stay there for a long time. Oh yeah, and, like, and yeah, it's not, it's yeah. like you don't live there. Yeah, so I don't live there. So I was like, I gotta hurry up and get back here and do this surgery. And um, yeah, so I was in long. That sucks. I could've, I didn't invite me over for Christmas day. I know, and we cooked dinner and everything. <sighs> Hey, all we did was cook. You could have some food though, cause we threw down. You cook? You know yes. how to cook? Mm -hmm. What do you feel cook for us? I don't know, we can do a cooking video. No, okay. no we can, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> when I come over, we gonna do a cooking video? Yeah, we can do a cooking video. That'll be lit, actually. All right, that's okay. I ain't gonna lie, I do throw down. Like, What's I have a son, so make? I cook. Huh? What's your favorite meal to make? My favorite meal to make is First of all, let's just say baked chicken. Baked chicken, you love baked chicken. Baked chicken is so freaking good. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. that's my number one. Like, I will season the sh out some chicken and mm -hmm. throw it in the oven. Yeah. Literally. And then I'll have like some green beans and potatoes or I don't know. Whatever it is, I will literally just put baked chicken in mm -hmm. it. And I'll just have like different sides like baked macaroni or some spaghetti and make sure there's like a vegetable in there or yeah. something like that. But it gotta be baked chicken for sure. Facts. I well, mean, sweet potatoes. I'm not a sweet potato fan. I, I was just love about sweet this. potatoes so yeah. bad. Like they can live potatoes. inside of me forever. 
I what love them. Like, how can you not? <laughs> I don't know. It's just the sweetness of it. I love potatoes, but not sweet. Mm -mm. That's really it. What's your favorite Christmas meal or dinner or side or whatever? Actually, we really don't. We really don't be doing Christmas meal. Do we be doing Christmas meals? Like, well, I really don't have a Christmas meal. Like, me and my family, we, like, spend time together and everything, and we just eat whatever. Like, we never have, like, a tradition of a certain kind of meal. Right. What about dessert? Uh, my favorite dessert is, like, cheesecake or strawberry shortcake. Mm. My favorite ice cream is butter pecan. Mm. I'm old, old school with that. And, um, yeah, those are my favorite cakes. What about you? Favorite cakes. Um, mine's is... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Asia always be thinking like this. So listen, let me let me pause this real quick too. Asia's about to be doing a Q and A. You want to tell them about that? Yeah. And she wants all the the juicy questions. I really do. I want y'all to send me all the juicy questions or just comment on this video. Anything. Yes. Nothing's anything. off limits. No, nothing's off limits. My next video is gonna be a Q and A, so I need y'all to ask me all the questions. Raw. Like, raw. Unfiltered. Oh, raw. Um, no condom. Raw. <laughs> you just need it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Just ask me the questions, like, and I promise y'all, I will ask, I will answer them rawly on my channel. True, one hundred percent honest. One hundred percent. She actually did a, a collab with Tay XOXO. Shout out to Tay, uh, which was yes. Snoop little boo thing. So y'all go check that out. But Asia, I appreciate you coming on the channel. Thank you. I for can't wait me. to come back on, come on yours. Mm -hmm. And uh, where can they find you at? Y'all can find me on YouTube at Asia Lee. Go like. Like, comment, and share. Mm -hmm. She's new to YouTube. I am. But give me, give me a break, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, on Instagram, make sure you guys go follow me. Um, go check out my New Year's photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Follow me on there at True Beauty underscore A One. Y'all can follow me on Snapchat at Asia Lee. Um, y'all can find me on. I don't really be on Facebook. Y'all can follow me on there or whatever. What about your only Asia fans, Lee? Like? Only fans. Things <laughs> go to hell. Um. Yeah, uh, follow me on OnlyFans. I'm just kidding. Uh, make sure you guys go follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All the Zeddy Chunk. Check that is Z-A-D-D-Y, C-H-U-N-K, C-H-U-N-K. I appreciate the love and support. Y'all don't don't take this too far because I know y'all in the comment section <laughs> typing crazy. Asia's the homie, and y'all gonna see, you know, me and her kicking it. You know what I mean? Hopefully Snoop comes back and we all get a, we get a trifecta in here, man. Yeah, because when he comes back, it's going <laughs> down. So y'all gotta stay tuned. Facts, facts. But uh, Z C C. Family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it! Uh, it's showtime, the whole place hopping. Stage rocking, this for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever like I'm Bay watching.